God. <laughs> Oof. A little too much there. Anyways, this is the story of the best photo I've ever made. It's probably important that you guys know my typical daily routine. It usually consists of me getting up, walking downstairs, making myself my morning coffee. Well, you done done me and just chilling out. I tried to beat you, but you so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Once I'm done with that, I'll head off for my run. Y'all really thought I was about to record while driving? The difference about today though, was that I was trying to make a vlog. I didn't have anybody to film me during my run, and overall, I just wasn't feeling it. And so, by around 12 o'clock and the time I was done running, uh, I kinda wanted to scrap the whole idea. Until... Yo, M Mitch, get in here. Alright. It's 3.13. It's 3.13. It's 3.13. We're going, some we're going somewhere. Somewhere. And you're gonna come with us. That's right. All right. No. All jokes aside, we're uh, we're going to this beautiful sunset location. Hopefully, at least. And yeah, we'll get some uh, sick flakes. And hopefully, we'll get some sick flakes. Oh, <laughs> you'll see. At least once a week, my brother and I try and get with a friend of ours to either capture a sunrise or a sunset. It just so happened that today we decided to go out to this open field with beautiful landscape, and there wasn't a single cloud in the sky. And we get there and we're just walking around, having a good time, snapping some flakes, whatever. But then, about 15 minutes before the sun sets, you know, slowly, we're, we're not able to see the sun through the horizon. Uh, it's, we can tell it's getting darker and it's almost time to leave. But by the grace of, I don't know what it was, about 500 meters away, I see the, the perfect frame. And I tell my brother to stop, wait for me to run up there, and take these pictures. Now let's see what we got. The first thing I did when I got home was look through the pictures and throw it into Lightroom. Okay. Put it into Lightroom, put on one of my go-to presets, export it out of Lightroom, and threw it into Photoshop. I wanted the viewer to see two things from this picture. One, the lone person, and two, the lone giant tree. So I got into Photoshop, removed all the fences, removed the extra sticks, the extra people, the extra branches, just so that it was me and the tree standing alone. And then after a few adjustments, I got the image that I was looking for. Now you got me on a love ride. Now you got me on a love ride. 